Right today in Albuquerque, Solomon Pena will be in court to face charges he orchestrated a series of shootings that damaged the homes of Democratic elected officials. Pena was a Republican candidate for the New Mexico legislature who claimed election fraud without evidence after losing by a landslide last November. The state's governor telling CNN she is relieved Pena is in custody. It is chilling to, to realize that you have a member of your community who ran for office, who uses the same propaganda that instills violent reactions from others, then perpetrates, orchestrates, and directs what quite simply was the attempted, right, it wasn't just harassment, potential murder of innocent victims across the city. It makes anyone running for office terrified. CNN's Ken La has more from Albuquerque. One came right through here, and then we've got the rest over here. About a dozen bullets embedded in the outside of Debbie O'Malley's home. I was very angry and uh, just disgusted about the whole thing. And these are significantly sized holes. They are. It was so loud. This happened when my husband and I were asleep. O'Malley immediately suspected who the gunman might be. This man. Hi, my name's Solomon Pena. Can I speak with Debbie O'Malley? Solomon Pena, who had been looking for O'Malley, went to her daughter's address and then to her home a month before the shooting. This is him on the other side of the fence. He seemed agitated. He seemed a little aggressive to me. I didn't consider him a threat then, but he was upset that he had lost the election. Police arrested him Monday in connection with a string of what they call politically motivated shootings of homes of four Democratic leaders in New Mexico. No one was injured. It is believed that he is uh, the mastermind that was uh, behind this. Police say he's suspected of hiring a contractor for cash to commit at least two of the four shootings from December 4th to January 3rd. Pena was a Republican candidate for a state house seat in New Mexico, and he spent years in prison for burglary and larceny. But a judge allowed the convicted felon to be on the ballot in 2022, calling it unconstitutional for Pena to be denied the ability to serve. I had nothing more than a desire to improve my lot in life. He lost in November by a landslide, then accused his opponent of rigging the election. Wearing a MAGA sweatshirt, Pena tweeted he stands with Trump, and he never conceded his own race in New Mexico. Election denialism. There's some shenanigans going on. That he heard at Trump rallies like this one in Phoenix in 2021. Pena tweeted this picture, saying he camped out all night to see Trump. Photographs on the arrest warrant show Pena pictured with this man. The warrant alleges he is one of the suspected shooters who was arrested with a gun used in one of the shootings. Police say Pena texted the home addresses of four Democratic targets to four suspects who carry out the shootings. And in an exchange texted, they just certified it. They sold us out to the highest bidder. They were literally laughing at us while they were doing it. Everybody's going to have to be more worried now. Bernalillo County Commissioner Adrian Barboa was also targeted. Four bullets ripped through her home into the room where she had just been playing with her granddaughter. It makes me angry that one person makes me angry that we have a former president and current elected officials in highest level of government that think it's okay to, you know, invoke violence in these situations. So yeah, range of emotions, anger, sad, disappointment. Despite how emotionally draining and scary this has all been, what we are not hearing from these victims is any of them backing down from representing the people in politics and in government. Pena makes his first court appearance on Wednesday. Kyung Law, CNN, Albuquerque, New Mexico.